In the deep shadows of history, truth mixes with myth. There lies a dark, twisted narrative. It was born from the ashes of World War II. It whispers of a conspiracy. A shadow war waged not by armies on battlefields, but by secret words and deeds. Allegations claim that the Jews, as a single group, orchestrated the war. Anti-Semitism saturates this tale. Nazi propaganda propelled it. It asserts that the Jewish people, acting as a single entity, started World War II. They did so to destroy Germany. It's a false story. But it has found echoes in neo-Nazi and Holocaust denier circles. And it has done so even today. Let's pull back the curtain on this narrative. It begins with a gripping start that promises a journey through history. It will unveil an insidious conspiracy theory's origins, spread, and continuation. Imagine standing at the brink of a revelation. Each sentence calls you deeper into the maze of human folly and lies. After World War I, the defeated Central Powers planted the seeds of this lie amid the chaos and despair. Whispers in the streets of Weimar, Germany, and Hungary spoke of a betrayal. Their compatriots, the Jews, had stabbed them in the back. Accusations flew like arrows in the night. They blamed European Jews for conspiring with their international brethren. The goal was to weaken the war effort and make Europe ripe for Jewish control. The claims were baseless. But they found fertile ground in a society grappling with defeat and humiliation. They sought scapegoats for their national and personal despair. World War II was on the way. The Nazi regime, under Adolf Hitler, found a potent tool in these earlier accusations. They used them to justify persecuting Jews. In 1933, there was a boycott of Jewish businesses. They presented it as retaliation against Jewish aggression. But it was just a prelude to the coming horror. Newspapers like the British Daily Express unwittingly played into Nazi hands. <laughs> they had headlines like, Judea declares war on Germany. These lent credence to the false story of Jewish belligerence. Adolf Hitler saw himself in this cauldron of hate. He saw himself as a prophet of doom for the Jewish people. In a chilling speech, he declared that a war started by Jews would lead to their annihilation in Europe. This dark prophecy was a cornerstone of Nazi ideology. It justified the unspeakable atrocities of the Holocaust. Historians like Jeffrey Herf and Eric Schoberg have dissected the twisted Nazi logic. They revealed a paranoid worldview. In it, the Jews orchestrated a global conflict to bring about the Bolshevization of the world. This twisted narrative lacked truth. It framed the Holocaust not as unspeakable evil, but as a warped form of self-defense. It claimed the defense was against an imagined Jewish war. Shaim Weizmann wrote a letter to British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain. It said the Jewish community backs the democracies against Nazi tyranny. But someone twisted it into a Jewish declaration of war against Germany. The distortion of Weizmann's words was a linchpin in Nazi propaganda. It fueled anti-Semitism and justified the genocide of Jews. As the war ground on, Nazi ideologues like Martin Bormann saw the conflict as genocidal. They urged Germans to see their part in a fight that could only end in victory or oblivion. The narrative of Jewish aggression became a self-fulfilling prophecy. People viewed every action against the Jews as defensive. It was a battle for survival against an implacable foe. The war's end did not kill this conspiracy theory. Instead, it found new life. It was among neo-Nazis and Holocaust deniers. Figures like David Irving spread the myth. The no-Nazi film Europa, The Last Battle, twisted history. They blamed Jews for world conflicts to sow hatred and division. This journey is through dark conspiracy theories. It reveals the depth of human falsehood. But it also shows the lasting power of truth to dispel hate's shadows. The claim was that Jews waged war on Nazi Germany. It was a lie in Nazi propaganda. It's a reminder of the perils of unchallenged stories. It shows the importance of vigilance against denial and revisionism. In uncovering this story, we face past lies. But we also arm ourselves with knowledge against the return of such toxic myths. 
Understanding hate's origins and mechanisms gives us the tools to combat it. This ensures we remember history's lessons. They should guide us to a future where truth wins over falsehood. Thanks for watching. If you love diving into today's video, hit like to let us know. Ready for more? <laughs> Click subscribe and tap the bell for the freshest updates. Don't miss our latest gem in the fresh off the press playlist. For more intriguing tales, check out our other videos. Your next favorite story awaits.